Hello everyone, my name is Gabby and in today's video, I am going to show you how to create tortoise shell nails. It's very difficult to say this word. So the first thing you need is a yellow gloss gel polish, a very dark brown gel polish, and also a slightly lighter gel polish, and a black gel polish. What I like to do is take a coaster or a palette and pop all the colors onto the palette. And here I am starting with the gloss yellow. You will need a lot of gloss yellow because we are going to layer the gloss yellow over and over. And also we are going to mix it so it is a bit darker. As you can see, I've added the dark brown next the yellow and they just merging together which is completely fine because we are going to mix them anyways here i'm using a spatula but you can use a dotting tool as well it doesn't really matter and the amount of brown depends on how dark you like your tortoise shell design i like it quite dark so i'm adding a little bit more of the brown and just mixing and mixing and mixing until i see that the color is going to be okay but keep in mind it is going to be much lighter on the nail once you paint it on now you will need a brush to apply the mixture onto the nail here I am using a size 6 I believe gel brush and my tip is already prepped and it has a transparent pinkish color and now I'm just painting on the first layer very thinly and I'm going to cure this layer in the lamp. As you can see, I'm picking up different parts of the mixture because they have different shades. And I'm just trying out which one I like the most on the nail. So accordingly, I'm just picking up more from the same side or from, from the darker side. It depends on personal preference, but I'm quite happy with this color here. After way too much painting and 30 seconds in the LED lamp, our base is ready for a second layer of this same color. So I'm picking up random bits of the mixture and applying it again on top of the nail, but this time I am not going to cure it. I'm just painting on the color until I'm happy with it and it's not stripy anymore. And I am taking <laughs> taking out all the fluff because there's always fluff. I don't know how, but there's always fluff. I'm curious when I'm going to realize that there's another fluff. Oh, here we go. Right, let's get to the fun part where I am going to paint the actual design. Here I am using the lighter brown color and putting a little bit on my palette. Now I am taking the same brush that I've used before and mixing the light brown with the dark brown a little bit. And now in the wet layer I am applying random spots. As you can see just dabbing it onto the wet layer and the reason why I'm not completely mixing the light brown with the dark brown is as you can see here it gives you a little bit different texture it's almost like an ombre once I'm happy with the spots and the blending I'm just checking again and then I will put it in the UV lamp. I keep saying UV but we are not using UV lamp for 10 years I think. Okay not 10 but 5 years for sure. So I'm gonna put this in to the LED lamp for 30 seconds to cure and now I am applying another gloss yellow and brown mixture layer and it's not focusing. Yes there you go. So, now I am applying another layer of the gloss yellow and brown mixture. And again, I am not going to cure this just yet. 
Now it is time to pick up some of the darkest brown and apply it on top of the ready-made patches. But we're not going to completely cover the previous patch, just like semi-covering it. Here my hand slipped, so I put the patch on a different place, but it doesn't matter because it has to be sort of messy. Again, I'm using a light dabbing motion, this way I'm basically blending the colors together. I was trying to correct that little mistake that I've done because I didn't like it at the end. Now it looks better. And here I'm just adding some random tiny smudges, just to fill in the gaps. This is how it looks so far, I like how it comes together slowly, but it is time to add the last layer and the black. And here is Mr. Black in action. I'm just putting a little bit on the palette. And again, we need another layer of gloss yellow and brown mixture. And now I am picking up some of the black just on the corner of my brush and then I am going to again with this light dabbing motion add a little bit on top of the previous smudges once I am happy with the black smudges I am still not going to put this into the lamp because I've decided I'm going to add some gold shards and I'm just going to use my dotting tool, tap it a little bit on the uncured gel polish, that is enough stickiness for the shards. And now I'm just randomly adding it onto the design. Once I'm happy with it, it can go to the lamp for 30 seconds. And now, because I like smooth nails, I'm going to add some protein base, but you can add any clear builder gel or builder gel polish. Because this design is based on layers upon layers upon layers, we have to be very careful with this clear builder gel layer because it can make the nails look bulky the best way to make sure that everything is smooth enough is to turn the nail upside down because this way gravity pulls the gel to the middle and it smooths everything out this layer can go to the lamp for 60 seconds and after this, after wiping off the sticky layer, it can be filed to make it even smoother and then you can add a top coat. This is the finished look, I hope you like it and I also hope that you learned something new from this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. And until next time! See you soon. Bye.